Okay, finally, I think the Meta Event Madness is up. So, we've got fun things that we could do. Well, sort of, and see today. We're actually going to open with VB again, just like um, uh, we started with yesterday, because I think that was quite interesting. That worked quite well. So, we can see how, uh, how that looks. Um, and I just noticed that we have a recipes page there that I've never really looked at. What are the recipes that it's showing directly? Let's have a quick look here. Recipes. Oh, these are the dungeon recipes, I guess. Oh, that's me in game. So it's quite scary that the auto scholar would do that. Um, what if I'm doing something terrible in, de in game, like trash talking someone, and then it scrolls over to it? <gasps> That'd be terrible. Yeah, so uh, we're going to do that. We're going to open with VB. And um, yeah, I've made some progress on some things I want to show you guys. So let's, uh, let let's go in game. Now, what I want to do is I want to um have a dedicated character for the vb thing just as we have a dedicated character for amnoon just as we have a dedicated character for other stuff um or maybe we don't need someone dedicated yeah never mind we only need to dedicate a character for something i think i'm gonna reason if it's like a long-term thing like the griffin racing thing we're gonna be doing on a lot of days we're gonna be doing the coins on a lot of days for this heart of thorns stuff we're only gonna be doing it a couple of days uh, and then it'll be done. So, it should be fine. Verdant Brink is not part of the Meta Event Madness. I'm well aware of that. We're playing Guild Wars 2 Master right now, though. And in Guild Wars 2 Master, I need the tonic from this map. So, we're doing the night bosses. Um, which, I'm not really sure how long till they spawn. When we, when we came here last time, the casino starts in three minutes. And do the night bosses also spawn at that exact moment? Meaning you're always going to miss out on the first, like, wave or whatever? I'll tell you what. We should check open worlds, Verdant Brink, and see if someone's got a nighttime post. If they do not, but then what server am I on? I'm on NA. They do not. So, this is the best map that we've got. So, there is a Mentor tag over here. So, let's go have a look at the Mentor. He seems to be trying to capture the Pact Camp over here. And if we can get it... Oh, look, there's a few players. If we can get it, we can guarantee a helicopter will appear. Giving us at least one boss, I believe, right? I think all you actually need for a boss is one helicopter. Casino's bugged at the moment, says Kommy. Is it? What's bugged about it? So, yeah, here's the uh, mail for it, by the way. The Guild Wars 2 team. Ha Attention, heroes. An extra bounty has been placed on meta events throughout Tyria. Completing them before 10 a.m. Pacific time on Tuesday, June 11th, will grant you extra bonus boxes of goods. Additionally, if the community completes enough of these events, all participants will be granted bonus rewards. See bonus events in the achievement tab of Hero Panel for more information. Participants have until 10 o'clock uh, Pacific time or June 25th to claim their community goal rewards. I don't know why they're listing this out in Pacific time. Who gives a fuck about Pacific time? I know that's where you develop the game in, but still, server time, server time. That's what everybody knows. They're Tyrians, damn it. Server time. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, let's go have a look at this. So, what was it? It was under bosses, didn't it? Say, bonus events. Here you go, tier one, two, three, four. Doesn't really say how close we are or anything. Don't seem to have any UI for it. But yeah, uh, it's good to see some spuds. I hope you're all you're doing good, guys. The bonus boxes actually give some decent loot this time. Oh yeah, and of course, we did just get one. From here, so let's open it up. So we've got karma, woods, totems, more totems. So it's lots of mats. Interesting. And then if I click this, show me where to go. Rally your allies and engage the fiercest battles in the area. So it says the Cathedral of Glorious Victory. How does it know that the Cathedral of Glorious Victory is up right now? Because that's not like in a time or anything. That's pretty interesting. I don't know how many crowbars I've got. But we will have got some yesterday. So I'm just going to grab some cargo... Um, what are these guys saying in, in game in chat here? Find supply and bring it back. I mean, the helicopter should just land, shouldn't it? 
I really hope I'm right about this. Because we're missing coins. At this point, coins just started a second ago. Uh, UI for the community completion is under the content guide if you expand it. Also, Amelian is bugged, as in it just doesn't start. Right. Okay, yeah, I mean, I kind of dismissed that information you handed me. <laughs> hey, WP, Amelian's bugged. Is it bugged? And then two seconds later, I'm just going on about this stuff. So, content guide. I'm not sure. It would be very weird for them to put on the content guide, wouldn't it? Disable personal story. Not expandable. Disable events and personal story. Well, I just realized it just dawned on me that I had a horrible dream. I had a really horrible dream. Jeez, I I just it just dawned on me. I had a dream last night that a friend uh not a friend, a family member of mine. Um Got like impaled in a helicopter crash. Where does that come from? What the hell is that all about? Okay, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> back to Tyria. <laughs> uh, there was a progress bar this morning. Did it fill? If it failed already, I feel a bit lame about that. So I can't help tier one because it happens in like literally the middle of the night. Hey, Tulip, it's good to see you. Yeah, it was not a nice dream. I'm genuinely a bit stressed out and high strung right now because I'm thinking about that. So many people flood the map last minute that new instances spawn and the meta doesn't begin on those. Oh. Oh, because it's a newly generated Amnoon. That's interesting. In which case, this might actually be kind of bad. Right? Because we want to be there early enough to get the, the opening of it. I have a progress bar. Tier 1 is gone by now. We're on Tier 2 now. Maybe it's because I'm not on an eligible map. Maybe they're not giving me UI when I'm clearly not, you know, doing it. Because that's just meta event madness. You need to be in LA to see the bar. Maybe you can see it on meta maps. Yeah, yeah. I think that, that, that seems likely to me. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't actually like the content guide at all. Um, I changed this build a little bit, didn't I? And I kind of... I put earth on and what I wanted to do was stay fire... So that I could keep the might stacks for people, and I still agree with that. So let's let's pick up pyro, let's pick up this, and let's pick up this. Maybe smothering auras actually. Let's go smothering auras. Well, smothering auras, but no. Well, yeah, no, that still works. Yeah, I actually really like this setup. This is a good setup. Because now I'm cleansing people when I throw out the shouts, at least. The other aura is not so much. But the shouts. It's pretty nice. And then I can... Uh, for Garen, I would definitely go the super speed stun break. But for this one, I think I'll, I'll stay on um, an extra aura. Just for my own solo sustain and stuff. Actually, I could do um, endurance on Vigor. This one's a really fun trait, actually. Flat endurance whenever you apply vigor to someone, and flat endurance whenever you swap to water achievement. Okay, once we've defended this, I'm assuming the helicopters arrive, and then we can get going. I do like VB, and I do appreciate that we need VB, but I want those coins. We've been doing really good with the coins, just like nice, steady, consistent, getting the coins every day, and we're missing coins, potentially. I mean, if I could even get in the map, maybe I couldn't. You have to click on the... I did click on the meta event rush part of the UI. And it said show me where to go. There was no bar. Alright, here we go. Music. This music is so much like the attack on Vavel. The song's just called Attack. You know, the violins, need this whatever string instrument is, needs to kick in in a second. Alright, but in, in Guild Wars, they go like horns. Alright, let's move up. Oh, sh it's these guys. Oh, man. Maybe I should have ran late in stamina then. Maybe I should have ran Aura Share for the protection. 
I don't quite think I need 10 man right now on this setup. We're just going to throw a couple of auto attacks out right now. Just to get some... Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Um, it's okay though, because you can graveyard rush this, right? Oh, that's taking me to Farron's Flyer. I don't really want to be at Farron's Flyer. Let's go back to my Mal figure. figure. Valor. Uh, let's go. Uh, I have watched the compilation of the blind run you did of the previous raid, but that cutscene of Kadeem flying out isn't in there, so I'd never seen that. Thanks for adding your trailer video. Well, yeah, I, I actually thought I was getting invited a bit of criticism upon myself by doing that, because it's a stark reminder to everyone that I have not done the... I have not completed my coverage of the previous wing at this point. And so, you know, you people are going to see that cutscene. They're going to go, what, what is that? And I, I figure the next immediate thought people have is, oh, well, WP's bad at his job, blah, blah, blah. He should have done this already. But it, it's, it was a nice way to open the video. And I actually don't like that video very much that I did. It, I think it looks really lazy. Jesus. I got Insta Search and Rescued there as well. Come on, please res me. I'm so much value to this group. I'm so much value and you're just sitting there. You could have res me, man. You really could have. I shouldn't have favoured. It's a waste of time. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, I the, but oh, the, the reason I don't like the video much is not, it's not the, the intro. I think the intro improves the video. I, I, also, there's a sneaky thing at the very end. I don't know how many of you guys click off when the outro appears, but there's a sneaky thing at the end of the outro on that one. I did a couple of little things on it, but the main thing is, I just think it's not a very good video, because, um, I mean, what is that commentary? The, the, fr the, the, the analysis bit? It's not really anything. It's... Here's some brand. Let's talk about why the brand. I didn't expect the brand. Is this Kadeem? Is this Kadeem? Is this Kadeem? Is this boss one? Okay, bye. That's basically what that is. And it's not very good. But um, it was very late in the day when I did it. And uh, I knew that no amazing insights were going to come to me later. And um, most of the video I wanted to do is an announcement. And explanation to people that the uh, stream uh, was going to have a big thing. Alright, so might for the group. Stay in the middle, guys. If you're do if you're on stream with me, stay in the middle. Just stay there. What? How did I get hammered there? That's some bullcrap. Uh, can I stab my way back in? Yes, I can. Just stay in the middle and stand behind his swing. He seems to have an epic cone on it as well, so be careful of that. Alright, good. So, break bar goes down. I don't have more might for you all just yet, but we will get that in a second. More dodge rolls for everyone with water. Yeah, just watch those shock waves. After his break bar's done, I guess he TP's back in. Stay, 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 stay. I can't give you a stab on the opening now, which is a bit worse, to be honest. But hey. Alright, heat sink. Maybe we should have gone for the wyvern. The wyvern. Alright, we jump that. Back in the middle. Get the break bar. Shit, they got it on the edge. That's not good. Well, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not good. It's a nice long break bar. Dodge. Oh, he's walking back through. Oh, I was expecting him to go just to the edge. Yeah, he's called the Spellmaster, but he has ammo. It is interesting, isn't it? Oh, man, that cone. That cone. Oh, that's, this is good. Heat sink. And a fire overload synced with that break bar. Good. Okay. Let's go to Amnoon now. Uh, what I could do is get um, airship cargo. Because really, that's one of the main things we're doing this for. But let's have a quick look. Hero's choice. Airship engine case. We've got 477 of these now. I missed that anyway. Um, that'll be a thing for later. We might look at that later. Uh, okay, so... Azeric, where are you? Here, he might not even be on the right map. He is, good. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I think there's a very obvious thing. That the boss thing we see is probably the key. The key probably defends the city, right? That's like such a basic, obvious thing to say about that trailer. And I don't explicitly articulate it. So... You know. It's not the best. 
Here we go. We got progress. We got tier twos up, but the meta is not rolling. So let's go open world. Uh, Crystal Oasis. Casino best commander. Oh, we did get to join. Prepare for a race. Oh, uh, we're on a dip. We're not in the main squad. It will be full, won't it? There you go. It's full. How ridiculous. I feel like I feel surrounded by casino casuals right now. Look at all these people. They're not normally here. Look at all of you. You should be doing it. For the novelties and the enjoyment of the game, you people. How dare you come here just for the meta event rush and ruin my map. How dare you. The map is full, so whatever, I guess. Um, so let's go do our Griffin race and uh, no coins for today, I'm afraid, guys. No coins. In fact, the better ordering now would be to go back to Liss. And open some, uh, um, uh, so, uh, some pack chests. Rod says you did get to join someone. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I, I'm obviously I'm only joking, but the the map I joined did have the server still down because they were everyone in that map I joined was also a late comer. They're people looking for the rewards that have arrived really late, which is exactly what I did today. But all the other days I didn't do it that late. All the other days I didn't. The only reason I did today was because I I tried this thing where we squeeze in a VB as well. Just for some uh, cargo. Now, between streams, I did gather some extra... Um, uh, what are they called? Uh, Leyline crystals from Tangled Depths, but only a few. I was actually... I spent a long time in the map, but um, the meta, the main meta never triggered. And thus, the main meta for TD is actually up today, isn't it? And, it, and for Meta Event Madness, so maybe I should look at that. I'll gather some packed crates, and then I think I'll go up. That's a really good idea. But yeah, so I um, I did get some more crystals, but I spent a long time on the map and basically got like 100 or something. Not much. I think I'm almost at 600. And we need 1,000. Uh, we didn't get back into the same map we were on before. Oh my god, they do not like me there. <laughs> Oh my god, brutal. That was kind of cool. I kind of like that. I, look, I was looking up on the top left to get out of the squad and then boom. Got spanked down into the abyss. I don't see any tags on the minimap for this one. This might be a totally empty map. Well, it's definitely not a totally empty map because there's uh, camps everywhere. Uh, someone whispered me saying there was another casino map. Thanks for the idea, but uh, yeah, I think they'll be closed at this point. Do we get them out of the strong boxes? So there is a farm in the game to go back to each of these every day. I just don't remember what the purpose of it is. There's something you can get from them every daily reset. There's something. Tangled Depths is in 12. Yeah, that gives us time for like a bit of racing. All right, so yeah, let's talk about racing as well now. Uh, I was doing races every day. Then Darg said that you get a bonus chest. You like get double rewards once per week. There's like a re weekly reset on double rewards for bonus chests. So instead of doing a good chunk of every master stream at the moment on medallions, because it's such a long-term project, instead of doing that, why not just roll into them once per week? And then in this way, you know, We'll still make reasonable-ish progress, but it will only be one stream every now and then. Uh, well, I woke up this morning and saw he's messaged me in Discord and said he's, he might be wrong about that. That you only get the bonus boxes like the first time you do it, maybe? Which is weird, because I was getting bonus boxes here, wasn't I? Uh, on Master, even though I'd already done Beatles several weeks before then. Months before then. So, um, I'm not sure really what the, what the, the world is there. Uh, I, I'm guessing it might be character, first time per character or something, because it wasn't Arachnia getting the bonus ones. But that leaves us kind of in a weird place where it's like, well, maybe we do just do all the races every day. Um, I, and I, I actually, yesterday, that was one of the things I did as well. I gathered, I did the full, even though they never appeared on stream, I did do the full set of races. Uh, 
I'm so bad at just scrolling to this, so let's just go this way. So we're up to 320. What that means is if we did races today, we would hit 350 and be able to buy that foul tonic, which would be good. That's the first time we would have been able to get one of those tonics since the bear one, like on the second day we did it. So it's been a long time since we've managed to get a reward from our medallions, and we're finally at the point where we can buy one. So I'm thinking of doing that. Because that's the most expensive reward as well in the game for medallions. The foul one, being different birds. And I want to see why the devs decided that one's worth so much. Like, is there a really cool bird you can get that I don't know about? Or do they do they move in interesting ways? Do they have fun costume brawl skills? One of my favorite tonics from when the game first came out was the owl tonic. You could like walk around on it and you'd actually walk. Or you could run and you'd fly. So nice little moments and times of being that owl, I remember. So day breaks in a few minutes. So we'll just uh, we'll open up this stream just grabbing these, I guess. It seems it seems like a good idea to me. Let's go up this chopper and see if they killed the boss. Because if they did, we can fly around grabbing some in the sky. Uh, combat music. Oh, there you go. No, they never killed it. Oh, uh, it appears some spawn anyway. It appears some spawn anyway. I spoke like an RPG character there, don't you guys think? Oh, man. For some reason, I just reminded myself. Listen, guys, please, please, if you never saw me my tweet about it a while ago, um, let me regale you. Am I out of crowbars? Oh, I am. Interesting. So I ran out right at that point. Okay. So let's grab that. I wish these just didn't drop once I had all the recipes done. One of the kind of frustrating things about half ones. Here we go. So we get these. We get. We should get stuff out of those. I think anyway. Maybe we just didn't get lucky there. All right. Well, look, we're up to 583 now. I don't know. It seems okay. Let's go to Tangled Depths because, based on what I just saw with the casino, it seems to me that this map will fill quickly as well and we're going to want to get into some squad yeah there's a guy making doing an rpg remake of guild wars 1 seriously he's remaking guild wars 1 as a classic kind of single player rpg it's amazing it's such a cool project look it up i tweeted about it before i think it was really fun I didn't talk about it in any videos, and I wasn't streaming at the time when I saw it. So I didn't really have much of an opportunity to talk about it. Well, here you go. And I can't wait to see his next update. Look at this. Beautiful. So I'm guessing that 180 is probably full. Definitely 177, because this seems to be a set-up sort of commander guy. So let's go to Newhawk on lane 177, because Newhawk often fails. I am on 177. Let me type slash IP just to be sure. Yeah, I am on 177. You guys can join me. All you have to do is type slash squad join list. Did we just have a sub? We did. Equinar. Thank you so much. That's awesome, man. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh, right. They mentioned on Guild Chat the pricing of those tonics was based on the in-game survey they did with the previous current event. Yeah, the survey on subjects of importance. Right. Okay. So what birds came up really high on that? Interesting. Oh, wait. Yeah, crowbars are in your wallet now, aren't they? They're keys. Oh, so I still do have a ton of crowbars. I've got 24 of the fucking things. All right, well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll figure that out later, I guess. Garen awakens in 50 seconds. So, let's see. I hope that the server finishes it, because we failed it last time. Um, let's put Gale Song back on. Let's go up to 10 targets. And we want to make sure we're there for when the, the burn begins. Uh, th this 30 seconds, the Order of Whispers will come out and then we have another countdown, so don't worry about that. But what we want is we want to make sure that these guys can really hit hard. So all the other events, basically, on the map are going to disable once the Garant awakens. It's kind of a bad phrase they use here. It's like the Garant's hunger will... They should, like, you know... It should be a suggestion it will become active, but not necessarily aggressive. And I know the word awaken doesn't really do that either, but in a sense it does.
Uh, okay, sorry, I was just having a lovely glass of water. Tell you what a great feeling is. <clears throat> Early on a summer morning, having a really cold glass of water. Like this one of your first drinks of the day. I already had one earlier, but another one. Man. War in the morning is like the greatest freaking thing. It's almost like we're made of water. It's really weird. It's almost like water is the most important thing for us to consume. I don't like water, I only like coke. You've just not become thirsty enough, my son. <clears throat> I've got myself a hot chocolate because it's flipping cold this morning. Hot chocolate? Alright, that sounds good on a cold morning, I agree, but I find it really hard to like empathize with people who are in opposite climates to me at any time of year. So for example, when it's the middle of summer, I just have no passion. If someone says, Oh, I'm really enjoying a nice warm blanket and a blah blah blah. I, I have no passion for like being like, oh yeah, that feels really good and agreeing with people when they say that. If it's the heat of summer for me. All I want to talk about is ice cream and fans and air conditioners and cool crisp sheets at the start of night. You know, all those kinds to go to bed into. That's what I want to talk about, right? And then it's the reverse. When it's winter, yeah, I'll talk to you about hot chocolate. So many good gem store items today. Time to drop $100. Is that true? I don't really do this, but let's have a look. So, useless dies. A mini, minis I already have. Oh, maybe I don't have all these minis. This guy's locked. 400 gems, though. There's 400 gems for these. Uh, what I should be doing... i got to get the cougar cub as well. Oh, how did I get to this? This is awesome. I can scroll through now. What I should be doing is when promotions come up, I should be buying stuff. Mini Garm, mini Moose, mini Orange Kitten, the mini Rock. He's returning and he's cheap. Oh, I still don't have this. What was this again? The black line board, yeah, we do need that. The sky scale chair is new. The quagon hat with the bow. Sunglasses are pretty cheap. We could maybe pick those up. That would unlock for all of our characters as well. I have the shadow of the dragon gloves, but not the helmet or the shoulders. That's weird. Bram's pauldrons. I've got maybe 60 to 70% of this stuff. I have some of these cubs. There's a lantern puppy here. Available for two days only. Yeah, what we should actually look at is ending soon. It's this stuff that they're going to take away from the store again. And these are new, aren't they? These etherbound gauntlets. What's exciting about them? What do they do? And the recharging TP to a friend is not a part of Master, but is somewhat interesting to me. It hasn't gotten over 9 degrees centigrade for a week now. Hot chocolate is your best friend at the moment, man. I live on the East Coast US and whenever I see that you're live, I know you've been up uh, you've been up too long. <laughs> yeah, that must feel pretty bad, man. I I mean, let me just really draw your careful attention to this fact. It's it's like a beautiful clean crisp clear morning for me with blue skies and sun shining right at the start of the morning okay so yeah it's, it's full on daytime mode now people have energy people are at work people are doing things okay and you you're still there in the dead of night in your rut sitting at your pc when you should have gone to bed hours ago you're an adult damn it sort it out feel the shame Look, West Coast people, if it's half one in the morning, I don't think that's that's as bad as East. Half one in the morning, I'm regularly up till one. I, in fact, I went to bed at two last night because I did fractals at reset. It took about an hour and then and then I went to bed afterwards. So, you know, I go to bed about two-ish and I consider myself all right, you know. I get up still reasonably early to see the mornings and stuff. All right, here we go. So, 
the Garen. <clears throat> as long as people stack together nice and cleanly early on, hopefully we can uh, do well here. The only other thing I kind of want to do is have Earth because stability is good, but... And it's like very spiky, right? Like I'm thinking stability. I'm thinking one stability and Gale Song. And with a shout trait, Gale Song's quicker, right? And the reason I'm thinking this is because I can just save as many CCs as possible. Thus, you know, making the burn harder. My soothing power isn't necessarily going to stop someone standing in a donut. Or getting knocked into a donut. But at the same time, soothing power, scholar on another selection of players. What's really nice about soothing power, I think this is the way it works anyway, okay, is soothing mists refreshes every three seconds. And as people move around, what that means is, but it lasts 10, okay, what it means is this actually kind of already goes up to 10 targets, right? Kind of, and sometimes spikes even higher. Not, not permanently, but you get what I mean. Someone will take a bit of the soothing mists and then leave and then someone else will take a bit of the soothing mists and uh, you know all I have to do is just linger in water achievement for a while which I always will because you know you've got an ICD you know if I've just overloaded these other two achievements so um, or if I'm sticking about for the water overload the more relevant bit I really think this first phase the Garen should one shot people I know that, that seems a bit punishing but it's really important to learn that super quick alright I should have been ready with might here but we can bump some up. Okay, so I'm at 25 heat sink. That should be 25 on 10 people around me right now. So here, look, I literally right there got knocked. Gale Song procced and saved me and anyone else who would have got knocked with that. Okay, let's sand squall. We're gonna really focus on what's important. Here we're gonna stand near him, but not totally inside him. We're not gonna do any break bar damage. I'm gonna go into water here, actually. This is purely for soothing mist. I know that I'm not low, but other people might be a little bit. We don't really have any alacrity. There's another Gale Song right there. Did you see that? Is, it, is alacrity affecting my Gale Song cooldown? I can't remember how that works in the game. We just really want to burst New Hawk down as best as we can. We've still got two minutes and we're down to 66%. So this should be a one burn as long as people don't mess up too much. As long as we can keep this going, it should be a one burn. Do a water overload, and then we're going back to... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go Earth for a Sand Squirrel. Then Fire. And did you see how just as we got into Fire, Heat Sink was coming back up there? And then we'll Heat Sink that up with 25 Might. We need to move left and then right. We're avoiding the, the, the ceiling right now. I'm going to just throw a little Wash the Pain away. That Earth is just for a bit of protection. And then Soothing Mists again. I'm going to throw a rebound out here. Oh, no. I got CC'd right as I did. The rebound was to save people from the last tick of that donut. I'm not going to save for the, the water overload. Gale Song again. See, I, I, it's almost better for me to not really make much attempt to, attempt to dodge those. Because I'll save other people who mess it up. With an AoE stun break for them. One minute to do 20%. I think we got the one burn on him. So, the next most difficult one... I'm not sure. What, what do you guys think the, the next most difficult one might be? Uh, I think possibly Scar. Scar usually takes a while. Oh! What am I talking about? I'm at Novus. I'm not at fucking Newhawk. I'm at Novus. Obviously I'm at Novus. Okay, so we one burned this, but this one's easy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can't. This is a scary thing, right? You can't. I can't trust my brain in the mornings. Scar's always behind. Newhawk is dead. No. Okay. So Newhawk got it anyway. Every Newhawk got it anyway. Okay. It's good. Look. My my belief that I was at Newhawk somehow influenced that there. All right. For I am the center of the universe. It's true, by the way. Here's an interesting thought, right? You know how, in terms of physics, you kind of are the center of the universe at all times, right? 
So let's take that further. It's not just that our body is the center of the universe. What's kind of even more compelling is it's like our brain is actually the center of the universe, right? But then, what physical area of our brain is responsible for our sense of being? Or more precisely, what physical area of our brain is responsible for the thought process and recognition of the fact that we are the center of the universe? Because really, it's not the entire brain that's the center of the universe. It's only the little synapse that somehow represents our understanding of the, that fact that is the center of the universe. So how does that work? Which bit of our brain is actually, which is the true center of the universe? How, how, how deep can you go? All right. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. It's very interesting, right? I sound high. <laughs> I'm really glad I sound high first thing in the morning. <laughs> this is a bit philosophical for Night M. I don't think it's quite fallen, degraded into the realm of philosophy just yet. <clears throat> I think we're still being abs utterly scientific about this. Wake and bake? That's not a thing, is it? Uh, thank you for the sub, Pan Makutamagirigirulil. Right, yeah, so I may as well talk about this. On, um, what am I doing? He's still underground. Uh, on the next, um, Tuesday, <clears throat> there's going to be a big ass raid stream, okay? So, Tuesday morning, uh, we are not going to do master. I'm thinking. I mean, if I'm insane, I might do Master as well, but I'm thinking Tuesday morning won't have Master. In exchange, there's going to be like a fucking 12-hour stream or something crazy where we do the new wing. Uh, that's going to be uh, pretty much exactly the same as last time. There's a donut here, and it's in a time warp, so I think people might miss it, so I'm going to rebound. Uh, well, I'd love to give a legendary way each time we beat uh, a thing. However, we only have two legendaries to do so far, and I'm not really sure. Last time we had, like, an eternity to give away and stuff. So, basically, I'm all out of ideas right now on how I can make this better. Uh, ooh. So, if you guys have... Uh, I just got myself wiped, I think, probably. I'll come right to the back here and see if we get something. It's likely the Garrett will charge through me. Oh, they did do something. Brilliant. There's a lot of players here now. I should have heat sinked before swapping there. So that's my idea. And what I'm, I'm wondering is if maybe through the week we can try and gather stuff. I, I don't know. But uh, if you guys have any ideas if, uh, or how we can make that stream even better, uh, I'd love to hear it. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully look at the emotes and stuff as well. I'll set up overlays for it and whatever like I did last time. Should be pretty good. Will the raid be on North America? Uh, yes, it will. It will be a North American pug. Because I do have a couple of people I want to play with. They'll be the regulars you've been hearing on the previous stream, or a couple of them, whichever ones are still around in the game. Uh, and, you know, like for the story stream. It's like Carrie will be there. Uh, I don't know anyone else at the moment, actually, 100%. Since the, the news was like last night, and I haven't really spoken to anyone about it just yet. Alright, there you go. So we get four boxes. That was the last one to die. And cool, now we can get more leyline crystals and all kinds of stuff. So, um,. Yeah, hopefully uh, it will be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I want it to be as good as the last one, though. So, uh, I don't know whether I should chill for it throughout this week. Again, that's on Tuesday. As soon as the patch comes out, the stream will go live. So, the patch will probably come out 5 p.m. GMT. That's 5 p.m. server time, I think. Um, so, yeah. I'll let someone put the aviator's memory box here in the hopes that they can uh, get people to use it. Alright, Ebony Orb, Chuck Egg, some acid. Like, look at that. You only get three acid from the box itself. And then the choice chest. Uh, we can open the gullet. And the gullet will give us... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a few more. And some crystals, but I mean, 30 crystals, that's it. That's all we get. We're now up to 782. When we open the ones in the back here, we'll get a bit more. 
If we get really lucky on these chests on the back, we'll be pretty close to a thousand, but I don't think we'll be quite there. Do I think this will be their last raid? Um, well, they've not had any official communication that they're moving away from the format. They're clearly adding them very slowly, though, right? Clearly, things are going very slow. There is maybe precedent for a fourth wing, because Heart of Thorns had four expansions, and now this this one might have four. Uh, sorry, Heart of Thorns had four wings. And, you know, we ended in Bastion. They did like a trilogy and then we ended in Bastion. This expansion, we've had Hall of Chains. We've had the Mystic Forge. We'll have this next one. And then who knows what will come out next. But clearly the, the wings take a long time. And uh, it didn't look like they had anything really juicy to show us. This is another thing that I should have mentioned in the video. It didn't look like they had really much very juicy to show us in that trailer, did it? Really? Um, so I wonder how much of a struggle that was to make, that wing for them I don't know about last though I'm not I, in theory the devs have whatever's happened with them and their other projects and the layoffs in theory they've realized well shit Guild Wars has to be our main thing for another two to five years whatever it is right while we figure out what the shit we're doing with everything else so in theory now that they're that that's like extended their time scale in theory they've had a bunch of people that have said right this is going to be the expansion we're going to do this we're going to do this we're going to do this and raids should be a part of that right surely so I, i'm not sure where the logic for it to be the lot like there's definitely nothing on the community side i think to latch on to but it did look lacking yeah it did look lacking the uh the previous one definitely seemed to have a, a lot more going on with it say that much but did the previous one even have a trailer what's interesting to me as well is um, you know I'll do videos about all the trailers the devs do for all the formats in the game and I'll understand how many people are roughly interested and how many people will click it way less people are interested in looking at that raid video that I did last night it's exactly the same like I said I think it's a bit weak but looking out of the door which is where you get your viewers from, right? The title and the thumbnail and the concept of the video. That's where you get your traffic from. Um, you, looking at the door, you wouldn't know that it's necessarily a bit weaker. Um, people just aren't interested because I think it's raiding oriented. It's, it's funny. There's such resistance to it. it. And the comments were like super shit in uh, the early hours when I put that video up. There were like three or four people immediately at the outset who kind of were whining that raids are a thing. Like, there was one guy who was like, oh, PvP has no updates, this has no updates, this has no updates, which is all just wrong. These the play things do have updates, and they are worthwhile content to play. Um, but blah, 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 made a bunch of hyperbolic bullshit comments, and then said, but at least the 1% raiders get their update. Like, it's just such a juvenile. There's literally about five different areas you can attack a comment like that from. And that's what happened, right? So someone types something stupid, and then you get all these other morons, equally moronic people, who feel they have to defend raids and get in a fucking YouTube comment argument. And it's like, you guys are morons. Like, Jesus Christ, where where are you coming from? And so I kind of have to cut. And I had like five different instances of that on the video. I even left one of them up. That's, you know, wasn't as bad as the others. But yeah, so uh, I don't know. There's, there's some real resistance. There's some weird stuff, man. People are pretty passionate about... Um, Knocking them and saying, oh, I don't do it. Full stop. I don't do it. This is not me. I do not do this. I do not do this. No, no, no. I do not do this. Do not do You know, like, they're just these closed-minded sort of uh, people not open to trying things or assessing who they are and what they might be interested in. And, um, and then you get these equally passionate people who feel it's their duty to defend raiding to, like, the last nail and and love going on about oh it's just get good oh i'm such a man i just got good oh i've got the right perspective on life i get good and i'm gonna tell everyone else to get good like oh my god it's not an insight mate you... all right anyway there's like this this mindset out there that a lot of people have a lot of people that like life is hard and you just have to really work for things and i i, I suck but you know i'm gonna really work on it and I'm really proud of working on it, and I need to make sure everyone knows that, and everyone needs to act this way. And, uh, you know, it's a tale as old as time. 
and it's not convincing to everyone. Round question. Do you know bat metal and what is your opinion? No, I've never encountered that phrase. Is that a person? Is that an item in the game? In a game? Is that a franchise of some kind? What is bat metal? Because listen, if that's a manga or something, you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> you want my get good bit as a ringtone. <laughs> But people are so passionate about these like philosophies that they just have to have to argue with randoms on the internet about it. They just have to. Yeah, I agree. Shippage, a hundred percent. Raids aren't perfect. They're not amazing. They're not terrible. But they're definitely not perfect. And one of the things that does suck about them is the ten-man format. I'll be passionate about that one. Why? Because it's a grounded. Realistic criticism. Hello, are we back? You can hear me. I uh, I started fiddling with my microphone as I said that. I started gesturing wildly and then I realized the microphone was a bit unhooked. So I moved it and then I unplugged the mic and now it's back. Okay, I'm back. Hello, everybody. All right, cool. I guess we do get another 75 right at the end. All right, this isn't as bad as I remember. So we're now up to 862. And we can use this acid. We might... If we can get a 30, if we can roll a 30 from one of these, we might be there, you know. We should all just play uh, PvP. Uh, yeah, man. Here's an interesting question. If I could delete raids and know for a fact that that entire community would be in PvP instead, would I do it? Obviously, there is no way of knowing that, and obviously, you can attack the, the very premise. But uh, let's not attack the premise. Let's assume that that's possible. Would I do it? Hmm. More community unity? You know, I would do it. I really would do it, and I would make the argument that they should have just kept supporting dungeons. The five-man format and made that made the expansion dungeons raids basically but call them dungeons keep them at five man i would do it uh, yeah, is that cheating i'm trying to have my cake in here too though oh this is cool the aviator thing on a mount works <laughs> that's really cool don't forget lay energy matter converter if you want more crystals daily that's true sometimes you can pick up like 50 from that as well can't you it's all wrong you need to role play What's the roleplay community like in Guild Wars at the moment? I don't hear anyone ever talk about it. Ever. Is like Peak and Square still a thing? Do people still RP on like Tarnished Coast? Do people still hide in the Divinity's Reach Salma district? Do people do it? I think that would be a bit of a loss to lose those. Wait, what's all this? They sit in Divinity's region, the home, uninstance, home instance. That's good. Sam is still popping off. Good, good. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's Pikin Square. I always say that wrong. You know, if the pronunciation is Pikin, I would argue it should have an E in it, just like uh, uh, Jericho showed there. You sometimes find them in Ratasoom. <laughs> There's a very, like, us and them mentality going on here. Oh, I sometimes see them in the Salma district. When it's a full moon on a bright autumn evening. Sometimes they're in... Rumours are. You can find them. There were people in RPing and Thunderhead. No, I don't... Obviously, you know, you're always going to have people who come along and like to roleplay in MMOs. That's not the same as, like, is there a big community, you know, that sort of band together to an extent, are under an umbrella, or, you know, know where to find one another, engage with one another. Are there forums? Is there fan art? Is there, you know... Is there a sense of creation and meaning that comes from their collective existence? Alright, that's what I'm talking about. You'll have random role players running around for years to come. WP, did you ever play Dragon Age games? No, actually, I never did, and it's... One of my biggest things that people always recommend to me. Not lately. Not since Inquisition sort of came out a while ago now. And then 
Bioware is, you know, fallen out of people's graces and all that stuff. But uh, generally speaking, yeah, particularly before um, the newest one came out, there was a lot of requests for me to, to look at it and play it. Apparently, I'd really enjoy them. I do like Bioware's format. I played some of their Star Wars. I played Jade Empire, the true Bioware extreme title, Jade Empire. I played uh, uh, Emmy 1 and 2, but not 3. Uh, what else did I do? I've seen people playing DH1, DH, uh, uh, Dragon Age 1 Origin. Uh, yeah, it's called Origin. No, wait, what? Anyway, the original Dragon Age. Um, why would it be called Origins if it was the first one? Is that right? Uh, and then um, I've seen people playing... Uh, the, didn't they do the top-down Baldur's Gate as well, right? The really, like, epic, like, oh my god, this is the ultimate of fantasy RPG uh, games. Right, am I right about that? Uh, and so, yeah, I'm familiar with those. Because it's Origin. That's quite uh, presumptuous, quite arrogant of uh, Bioware right there. Disgraceful. To call your first game Origins... Under the expectation you'll print money with it. Disgusting. <laughs> no, I think that's good. Alright, that makes sense. I like thinking long term early on. They weren't actually planning on making sequels. Oh, really? Oh, it's just Origin. Okay. Origin is kind of a... It's kind of a pretty clever if you think about it because origin is suggestive enough at a sequel and suggestive enough at a broader franchise and it works in the in the subsequent years when you do have multiple games and randoms like wooden potatoes on twitch will talk about it and it'll be like oh the first one is origin obviously first is origin it makes sense right origin works for that word but origin is also slightly vague enough and not explicit and direct enough that it can also sneak by without having a any sequel at all. Just about. It's right on the edge. So it's actually kind of a really good good term. Kind of quite uh, quite clever marketing titling actually there, I think. Hey, Benji. Is Benji in chat, really? Where's Benji in chat? Look, he gets a big fanfare from everyone. Look at that. So, this is the thing, right? Like, I just opened that. I used some Chuck Acid, and I got zero sparks. Oh, crystals, sorry. So, this is the thing that's a bit frustrating about this. We're at 890, and I think we probably will run out of Acid before we get it. So, we're going to have to do a couple of other events. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, it's only 100. It's not too bad. But it is, uh, it is a bit annoying. If there's a tag on this map, I will stay and push some of these metas. In fact, I'm a tag on this map. Why Why am I the tag? Why did I inherit this? Just because everyone else left already. All right, let's do... Um, which one do you guys want to do? Tiku Newhawk, the waypoint's unlocked, which makes me think someone's already here pushing this. So let's do that. So come to Tiku Newhawk. Um, over there. And then we want to... you got to get the right thing, the right wallow. I think it's the Grub Pit wallow. Come to the grub pit wallow and come in here, guys. Not the pink kitty, damn it. Yeah, I don't want the pink kitty. Yeah, crystals come much more from events than from acid. I agree. Yeah, yeah. The main thing, and I said that on yesterday's stream, I'm pretty sure, that mostly doing events is the way forward on, on this. It's much smarter. Uh, someone in game is whispering me if you're on the stream uh, just ask in stream chat and I'll, I'll respond there I'm not gonna have private conversations with people while I'm streaming uh, I agree but WP doesn't like it what the kitty pink kitty is the lowest tier of tag yes I would agree it's the lowest tier of tag And the rabbit finisher is the highest tier of finisher. Not because it's a cute little rabbit, but because it is 
it is designed to be lobed prestige, therefore it has troll potential. Alright. Pink kitty doesn't even have troll potential. You have to earn the pink kitty. And then once once you've done so, you're clearly just interested in pink kitty fashion when you run it. That's not right. That doesn't work. No 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 no. Pink kitty would have value if it was the first commander tag anyone ever unlocked. Because then you could ironically use it. You can't ironically use the pink kitty anymore. To be ironically using the pink kitty in Guild Wars 2 is like the height of arrogance. Because you think it's ironic because you're like, I'm a big burly man. I'm an awesome guy. I'm macho. I'm action man. I'm I'm the biker mice, right? So you're, you're thinking that about yourself. Therefore, it's ironic. But no one knows you. Nobody cares about you. You're random in a video game, okay? And to them, they won't appreciate that irony. They'll just think, oh, that guy likes pink, ki pink kittens. A loser. All right, that's what they're going to think. Okay, good. We get the event. Three more of these and a recovered scar chest. The chest gave us nothing. Hey, I remember that show. Which show? Because <laughs> I was actually listing toys there. <laughs> I'm gatekeeping the pink kitty. No, look. Don't misuse that word, okay? That is not gatekeeping, okay? Gatekeeping is when you say... <laughs> You bought a five iron? Only pros like me can use those clubs, right? It's ba it's when it's when you say you're telling a certain proportion of you're telling a certain community, you're telling a, telling a certain people that they cannot participate in something for one reason or another, usually because you're purporting there's some bar of expertise. You're not allowed a good car because or this type of car because you haven't souped them up in your in your spare time. You you're not a mechanic. You can't have this kind of pasta because you haven't visited Italy and you don't really know what you're talking about. You're not allowed this kind of coffee because you haven't tried enough brands to realize why X is the the genius brand, right? That's gatekeeping. It's telling people they can't do stuff. I'm not. I'm telling people can run the pink kitty if they want. I'm not gatekeeping it. I'm just judging them for running the pink kitty. You can do it though, right? Go for it. You'll just be a loser. <laughs> All right. So let's get this straight, okay? I know everyone likes to talk about gatekeeper now because that's something the internet's latched on, all right? But you're not allowed to talk about gatekeeping in the wrong way. Do you understand? You have to talk about it my way. Or not at all. Oh, that would have been such a good rebound. Thank you. Oh, look, I feel good now. He goes barreling in there again. There we go. You got him. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about in chat. So is this just a basic escort or do we we need to press F on the eggs or something and we need to work with that, right? <laughs> Look, someone, someone's like, Lewis, are you the real one? <laughs> he must get that so much. That's funny. Protect eggs IRC. Okay. Look, my whole only genius is to play Mesmer's thing. I do still, uh, you know, stand by. I, that wasn't actually. I wasn't actually suggesting I am also a genius. I'm saying in the ideal state of the game. Only good people should be playing Mesmers. Like, people really work at Mesmer. There's a guy on... Uh, I don't want to give any individual too much credit, to be honest, because I don't think he's really that worthy. But there's a there's a guy on NA that, before the scrapper buffs, was just spamming scrapper games, like hard scrapper games, and using some really weird utilities. He was actually a pretty decent side noter. And when Mirage was running away, like, really hard, could actually 1v1 Mirage quite well. And that meant that they had a slot in the meta, right? It's like, okay, if you can... If, you're, if you've built a side noder build, and it can take out one of the most common side noders, you can reliably use that in ranked queues, even at pretty high levels, because you can rotate into the enemy side noder that's on the meta spec you're countering. You can do that. There, that, that is possible. So there was a guy, long before any other scrappers around because of the recent buffs, who was playing a lot of scrapper games, right? 
And he was able to pull it off, even though most people were considering it as quite rubbish. Um, that's a very real example of what I'm talking about with Mesmer. Mesmer should be in that position in general. I also am tempted to say Mesmer should be more of a tournament thing and less of a ranked thing. But I, I very much believe tournaments should be high, high, highly spectatable. And there's two elements of Mesmer that are kind of... Well, okay. There's an, And the clones are not good for spectating. Portal is a whole other discussion. Portal in a lot of ways is bad for spectating. Because casuals can't tell what's going on. They, they can hardly keep up with who's holding what node and how they're defending it and the flow of the map, right? You can hardly do that, let alone... Okay, you've also got to remember that there's a... There's a, a link between these two places. There's no graphic for you, but there's a link between this location and this location. Portals don't appear on the minimap. They're not very good for spectating, right? They could be a lot better, and they're not. That's one side of the coin for Portal. The other side of the coin is actually, though, that Portals are really good for ATs and AT spectating. Because Lord rushes via Portal and, uh, you know, decaps and team uh, regroups via Portal. These are all really, really powerful and fun plays to watch. And once you understand the game... It's actually a lot more interesting to watch. So Portal is a force for good in a lot of ways as well. So Portal's a mixed bag. But, you know, that whole clone thing, I don't know. I just think that the spectating suffers. So I do really think, I don't know, it's an interesting topic. Obviously, things got a lot for A lot of people might be listening to me talking here and they'll wonder whether I'm, you know, being accurate enough. But you, you've got to have a contemporary enough opinion to remember that the Phantasm cap was removed. So it's not just clones, really. It's it's the whole kit and caboodle. Not only that, but they doubled generation on Warlocks. On staff with the same update. So you actually get a lot of stuff. Any staff Mesmer, even without Deceptor of Evasion, right, um, can very quickly have six units on the field. Themselves, three clones... And two, uh, two Warlocks. Just by equipping a staff. That's it. Any staff build can pump out six units on the screen. Six little Mesmer icons on the minimap. Six entities people have to cull away with their brains. Here, let's kill this treasure mushroom. Let's do this. Let's kill this mushroom. We might get, you know, the, the light ones. I'm now really thirsty for this since Iron Bolt got one. It's amazing. I've been showing people that stroke image and it's been weirding them out. Really? In what context are you giving them the stroke image? I'm really excited to hear that you like, you don't tell them it's a special thing. Just act like it's a room in your house or whatever. And say, uh, you, what you should say is, listen, man, I just had a huge argument with my wife about a really petty thing, right? She wanted me to go get the bottle of wine from upstairs. And I looked and I couldn't find it. So I came downstairs and told her and she had a really, we ended up having this big argument about she thinks it's easy to see and I don't. Can you just look at this picture and tell me, am I crazy? And just leave it there, right? Don't say another, 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 another word. And then, uh, and then see what their reaction is. Because <laughs> they'll have that experience because they're going to go into that looking for a specific item. And, and with the understanding that it might be hard to see. And they're going to be looking for... And then it's going to slowly dawn on them. Wait, what is this? What? Uh, uh, and their brain's going to do a weird, you know, fracture. It's clearly there. Damn it, I should have done that. Well, look, just do it to someone else. Uh, Cho, it's a picture we were talking about um, the other day. I, I, I won't find it again because... Actually, boom, it's this picture. It's just identify an item in this picture. And uh, as you can tell, it's not easy. So, uh, yeah. All right, we're going to go do the next event now. Cho, I didn't really look at Discord much yesterday. So if you'd sent me any messages about these new overlays and things, let me know. I know, obviously, last we spoke, you were busy. And that's still fine. But I am still really excited and looking forward to doing some of these other things. Like the end screen and stuff. This melted one. Yeah, okay, you've seen it before. Yeah, I think it's a cheese grater too, Benji. I don't think it's just that you're a cheese lover, if that's what's going on. If that's what you're concerned about. Motivated by cheese. <laughs> it's like, you know, you, you go to get therapy and they show you the picture. What do you see in this picture? It's like, what, what are they called? Rorschach tests, right? It's like a modern day Rorschach t test. Oh, you see a cheese grater? 
Maybe you should go on a diet. Sorted. You're super busy? Oh, you don't have to apologize. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still enthusiastic about it. Well, I t well, tend to, and the reason I do that is this. I don't know whether anyone can uh, relate to this. I tend to get really enthusiastic about something. But if it's like a, a, a two-way street, if it's something I'm enthusiastic about with someone else, um, if there's a bit of a break, uh, I feel like I shouldn't be enthusiastic about it anymore because the other person might not be enthusiastic anymore. But if I realize that they are still enthusiastic, mine will return too. Does that make sense? So anyway, that's that's the only reason I offer that reassurance. It's not to actually pressure you or anything. Anyway, um, we need to become a guy, don't we? And then we flick the beetles into the pen. This is going to take a while. So, the four, I think? No. Tongue grab. Okay, so if people throw them, if you guys throw them, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do this bit. This is some of my favorite music in all of Guild Wars 2. Listen to it. Can you guys hear that loudly? I mean, this bit's not very interesting. It's just the little that I really like. Oh, oh, there it is. I was talking over it. <laughs> Writing music must be really interesting, right? Because you're going to come up with genius little rhythms and like sound effects and like riffs and stuff. And you have to learn how to not overuse it in the song. But also... You want to use it as much as possible because you know that's what's so good about the song. But if you use it too much, you get too poppy or whatever. You get too... It gets lame. It's not its not very good to listen back to. And I sometimes have that. Like, I'll, I'll realize there's a really good sound in a song, but it's just repeated too much. And they didn't have the creativity to do other things with it. And that, that goes for video game music too. Can I think of an example of a song like that? Where it's like, this sounds really good, but it's basically just repeating itself like six times over and it's not very so how do you pair what's really beautiful about this thing you've made and inspired you with the re what what are your verses to it right what, what's the rest of the song and i've had the opposite as well where i've listened to like some really fucking great metal songs that have these epic exits but they're they only exit on it right so and they're fading the goddamn music out as, and you're like this is my favorite bit of the song why Again, no specific examples come to mind, but it's definitely something I've experienced a lot. Alright, we've done that. <laughs> Somebody tried to type it. Clayton. I heard the would you would do do do. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, no worries, Joe. No worries. Don't burn yourself out either, man. Definitely don't do that. But I kind of like how you're, you're like, as an entity, helping this Guild Wars 2 streaming scene so much in a way, you know. So we can come over to this one. We're looking for a 1,000 crystals. We've got 900. So this one is um, actually quite scary. It's really good to have portal on this. There you go. Somebody dropped one. I guess now that mounts are in the game, it's a bit better. But once you're in combat, you won't necessarily be able to do it. If you guys are playing this with me, make sure you get value out of these portals. You could probably run like three through a portal if you're quick enough. I was halfway through one, so I wasn't able to run three. But I did get two. Might be able to do more than that. Did you see how my Gale song there, instant stun broke that Ellie, and he immediately went into a water overload? But the thing is, the water overload itself is a stun break. So, it was kind of low value. It looked really good, but it was also not good. It's fascinating, and it's a form of my personal slash bow to you guys. Cho, you're a good example of what I was talking about in a previous stream. Like, I was talking about it would just be really nice to be able to program in rudimentary ways, handle scripting, and understand, like, PC logic a bit more, uh, so that I can just do things better. You're a brilliant example. You've got all these these capabilities and you can do all this fun stuff that I just you know it's just like it's double dutch to me Tangle Depths is almost in your top tier maps you're a good man Benji I agree it's a good, great map too often is it in the shadow of the mind of the player base too often is it criticized for navigation oriented reasons too often is immersion ill favored 
when compared with accessibility. You guys don't know what you're missing. Tangle Depth, the King map, the Ultimate map, the God map. There's a portal. You forgot this map also has a Disco Ballroom. Yeah, isn't there a Mastery Point or something there? You have to go in there for something. Or is it a Hero Challenge or something? Yeah, this event scales a bit, 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 bit much. The problem is collecting the stuff on the pause, so you end up just spamming. All right, we got back through. We got two and a half there. I'm pretty sure the full three is possible then. TD would be top tier if it was urban and called Kainane. Well, you've just touched on something really cool there, Shadow Cat. Listen, if we're going to camp the guys, get ready for more Tangled Depth style experiences. You ain't going to get no fantasy of an urban sprawling landscape if it's 100% navigable, all right? We're not having any of this American super wide highways. Ooh, we all just drive around in cars and there's no, like, labyrinthiness to it. We're not having any of these kind of modern, you know, sprung up places. We're having Kaineng. We're having a chaotic, jumbled mess of crap, all right? And it's going to be amazing, all right? Tangled Depths. Give me at least one Tangled Map style thing in a city. Just one, please. At least one. Don't worry about Reddit and the forums and the people in my stream chat right now. Only worry about me. <laughs> I used to use your YouTube playthrough to navigate factions campaign in the city parts. I mean, yeah, I, to be honest, I remember... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm joking around here, obviously, to a degree. It's 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 an interesting chat. But there is uh, definitely a lot of memories within me of getting lost and how frustrating it is when you have just a very specific goal in mind. The thing is, getting lost is fun on the first playthrough. When you're relaxed about stuff, but... Well, maybe not even anymore for a lot of people. I don't know. But when you've got really specific routes you want to do, and you're not 100% familiar with how to navigate, and you're just used to mini-maps and all these other quality-of-life features, and then they go away, that's when people feel frustrated. It's just because you're breaking the uh, expectations of how people handle the game for that one moment, and it feels arbitrary. It feels arbitrary that... Things are suddenly a little bit more annoying. Okay, so... Um, we use a bait stick. This is a taunt. And we smack our foes with mushrooms. Now, they run in circles, don't they? Can't I just stand at one of these? And we wait. Okay, wait, wait. Taunt. Okay. Somebody... <sighs> okay, alright, listen. I'm going to just assume everyone in this squad is here. Press F on the pot when a, when a beetle is near it. Okay? Now you do it. See? And they become allied. Don't do it just randomly on its own. Because uh, that doesn't do anything. It just wastes it. And then some other beetles will run by. Okay? So hopefully that worked. That makes sense. This is also pretty OP. Did you see how many we got? It says taunt your target. But we got like a whole AOE going. I don't know what smack does. Okay, so look, I'm going to use the skill one, pull it over, smack it to CC. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to cancel cast that. Hopefully someone else pulls them. Someone else? Anyone else? No one else has a stick. All right, I got one. I got two, actually. Lucky. Lucky me. Just spam the sticks. That's it. Hold them. Oh, okay. The CC knocks them away. All right. You stay here. You stay here, beetle. Good, good, good. There you go. Look, we're doing well. You can do this at any of the pots, by the way. You can go to that one over there. We just... If we're good enough, we can catch them right as they spawn. I've never actually done this event this efficiently, by the way. Ever. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. Usually, it's just a mad rush around. Can you see on the map all these cogs? They're all different places where the beetles can be a thing. Keep him in there. Keep him in there. That's it. It's when you, fun when you aren't fighting the Amphar or whatever they're called with their goddamn traps. Same as Chuck in Tangled Depths. Fuck the Chuck. That's interesting to me that you're, uh, you know, you're more frustrated about the, the skill balance there for the PvE. All right, I'm just chaining the pull. No, 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 no. Good. Stay in. Oh, did somebody pop this when they'd all moved away? All right, I'm going to put them in again. There, get it out. Oh, so good. Jesus Christ. Oh. Did WP just say get good? Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Instead of whining on the internet, get good. 
There you go. I did just say that. Aren't you impressed? Aren't you impressed with my perspective on life? With how much you complain about getting stuck in combat, I thought I'd have thought you'd agreed. Well, I, I think it's uh, a bigger thing for me in Guild Wars 2 than Guild Wars 1. I don't really have too many memories specific to the Amphar is what I'm saying. I don't re really remember that. <clears throat> right, the meta will be over soon. We've got so much acid here. It's kind of nice, but I'm going to need to find the friggin... So we're up to 915. We've still got all those crowbars we can drop down in Inverted Brink as well. We might get both of these today. You know what that means? It might mean no sky scale. I'm still in the aviator pose. I am still in the aviator pose. <laughs> is this permanent? I guess it is, right? That's fantastic. No idea if you touch the subject of those wild boss events, but I'm so happy to see people in those maps again. It should be a thing to keep these maps alive. Yeah, I haven't seen the Cortarian ones just yet and how it's impacted those, but on the previous uh, wild boss event, I got a good taste of those having population back. It actually amazed me how popular those were. They were so popular. They were just insane. I, I, I can't... I can't understand what people are getting out of it. They just, I mean, it really is the ultimate exercise in, I want to press random buttons and get loot. that That's what world bosses are. And I don't care if I have really low frame rate, and I don't care about this, and I don't care. I just want to waypoint, press a couple of buttons and get loot. And it's amazing to me. I think the fact that the infusions were dropping enticed people to certain degree on the last one. But if this one's really popular as well, I mean, it's not even like you're getting, it's not even like we're gambling for super rare stuff anymore. It's just materials, right? And just loots. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was retail that hit me there, but I didn't think he was in the AoE. I really didn't. you got to break their break bars um, to stop that retail. WP, the last half an hour, I just walked around as a commander in Queensdale, and I played it like a Dungeons & Dragons game. People followed me and role-played with me. It was a lot of fun. Cool. Well, there you have it. The 2019 RP right there. Yesterday on launch, people were standing in straights and have absolutely no idea what to do. Even old players struggled to remember how temple events work. Well, do you know what they should have done? What should they have done, guys, to have known about the temple events? Yeah, you're all thinking it. You're all thinking it. I'm not going to say it, but you're all thinking it. Um, <laughs> actually, even as a joke, I think that was a bit too far for me. Even as a joke. Uh... What was I, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, you, you raise a good point. I've, I need to remember more and pay more respect to. that. A lot of people are just new and they've not done it before. Wiki how they work. Oh, rip. Oh, I got owned. Nocta. I have been slayed. Chuck remaining one. Is this a... Oh, no, it's Chuck remaining, not Beatles remaining. We got the big guy. He said, it's a joke. I referenced the Let's Play in map chat yesterday, saying I only remember because of it. So that's strange to me, because I, uh... It's not like I had to do research for those temple events. Uh, there's one moment on those temple events where I was like, okay, I don't actually know how this works. Does anybody want to guess what that might have been? So on the Let's Play, I did full demonstrations of all the, the meta events, all their phases, how they work, all their dialogue. I did it all right. I showed you. It was like you played it. Even better than most people would have played it. Because you actually get to see everything in order. But uh, And so I didn't have to learn anything about those. I just kind of um, went and played them. And I did them. But there is one example of something where I, I was like. Okay, I really don't know this. I'm going to have to go to Wiki. What do you guys think that was? What was the one bit I actually had to research? And for what it's worth. I may have had to have refreshed myself a little bit on the Grenth Temple stuff. Because it had been a long time since I'd been there. But... I, I didn't learn anything from that. It was just, okay, yeah, the, the phase mechanic there where you go out of phase, right? So that you can do more damage to the, the shades, but you also take more damage, that thing going into the mist. I did go to a wiki page for that. But what about um, the other the other ones? Oh, Demark knows. It was the Melanju Temple. How do you know that? Did I mention that in the commentary? It was. It, it, Demark got it right. It was Melanju. I didn't know where Melanju started. I didn't actually know the very beginning event. So I had to look it up, and then when I recorded the episode, I think that was like one of the first times I'd ever been there at the start waiting for that event. I don't think I'd ever seen that escort come out of that camp. 
I'd usually only ever seen her once it was already underway and it was on the beach. But that very opening dialogue, I'd never seen. Um, so, yeah. The other ones, like, knowing where Jonez spawns on the island and Lissa I love and I know whatever there is to know about it and Balthazar. It's just weird to hear that veterans are kind of forgetting because to me that stuff sort of is stuck for some reason. They should use timers for temple events. Well, the most frustrating one is Ara, really, that, as far as timers are concerned. Because uh, the way that Ara resets, if you want to get it all the way back to the start, it's a nightmare. Uh, is anyone in chat here that was there for the Ara event that we did? Basically, when we got to Aura, I started doing, like, community events in the temples. We got, you know, a ton of guildies together, a, a ton of viewers together, and we did them. And um, I, I did, like, some of the opening straights of Devastation ones. And then the invites always went out, but the next big one I did was the last one, the Gates of Arar. And it took us hours. We were basically just farming Straits of Devastation, classic style, running around getting different um, events done for ages. Because if one event doesn't fail in the right way or at the wrong time, well, something succeeds, you, 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 you have to push to the full gates and you have to claim the gates and then you have to wait like a period of like an hour or something, even more, maybe two hours, an hour and a half before it resets and then when it resets you have to hope that something else happens so uh, yeah that one was a pain and i relied actually a lot on you guys in chat for the the exact mechanism of the full reset of the gates of Arar. but that's not really a temple and that's not really relevant for regular gamers it's only relevant if you want to give people all the dialogue starting at meddlers is my squad full no 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 it's a pretty uh lightweight squad this is just what's left over from the chat garant really Yeah, you have to fail like a certain event, Wick. Yeah, exactly. And if you don't fail a certain event, you can fail subsequent ones, but they'll never reset far enough back. Yeah, and people were shouting for the events to fail, yeah. It wasn't very good, honestly. Because we were getting really annoyed at people who were trying to play the game. We, like, we, we had multiple occasions where we had to bomb an area with 50 people. The full weight of the squad to scale the event up, but to not stand in the capture point territory while some other randoms were doing it and we were just trying to get them killed. It was just really fiddly. It was really difficult to fail. It was really difficult. Oh my god. Okay. Lightning orb into his shield. Not a good idea. <laughs> into retail. Not a good idea. <laughs> I should have just... I got greedy. I should have just stayed with the, uh, the, the four. Let the zipper do its job. Alright, good. That's that meta done. We got five of these. Come on, give me a good roll. Give me a good roll. Nah. Well, you got a couple. Okay, so we do have a ton of acid now. Do you think we could go into the lane and... Well, maybe I'll just do one of the other metas. Do you want to do Scar? Someone's over at Scar. Scar's pretty easy. Let's go do Scar. I like Scar as well. Increasingly, I like Scar. Scar is what I did yesterday as well, off stream. You can come up this ramp. Uh, I guess I should ping in chat. I guess I'm actually... This is like a legit squad going on there. When people farm Curse Shore for Gold, I remember people would go mental when people wouldn't let events fail. It was nuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was it people had to fail, though? The Plinks chain, you could succeed at them all, couldn't you? The Balthazar pit fight, you could do. Plinks himself, you could do. That was all fine. Plinks was the main original farm. Grenth was, uh, was definitely one of the ones you'd have to fail. But there weren't many people doing Grenth. There were very few people doing Grenth. Very few people realized just how OP the Grenth event was. Alright, so the team's been scattered. We need to find them before something else does. If you do events around an outpost, after it's changed completed, you get a lot of crystals. Ah, so instead of doing Scar, I should stay over at the, the New Hawk area.
Did I do hero points? The ones where you need to fight give some currency. No, I didn't actually. I didn't think of that either. I just like to be like, okay, look, I've got a billion acids, so clearly I can get into these things now and I'll get a load of sparks, but it's just not true. In VB it's true. You get loads of fallen airship materials and stuff when you use a packed crowbar, but in this map it's not. The bonus UI on the right shows multiple events if you leave it. I was too impatient and shut the map after it showed Balthazar. So maybe, um, wait, Gertrude Satchel? Oh, we get two crystals from this. Okay. That's interesting. What's that related to? Gertrude Satchel? I'm not sure I know what that is. Do you have TD map potions from Dragon Sand? No, I don't. <clears throat> I don't do enough dragon sand at the moment, but obviously there's a whopping amount of that in our future Reward track, please arena net Give me 50 Not not ingots crystals for the finishing a reward track, please a whole reward track for just 50 You're still asking me to do five of them In order to get a single mini. All right, that's still five reward tracks for one mini. That's still a ton of work no, uh, I know why they're not doing it. It's because if you let people get that stuff in world versus world and PvP, you're gonna really kill the map, and that map sort of needs people. So, I think I think we're SOL on that one. Because I'm likely that we'll get a reward check. Also, it's sort of yesterday's content, so lower chance of them looking at it. If you plan to get all skins, does that mean all legendaries? If yes, how many battles? Gifts of battle. Do you have? I think I have like five gifts of battle at the moment. I think I've got a few. Um, but well, but I'll get those gifts of those gifts of battle are going to be like a non-element because I need to do so much world versus world for the world versus world armor and the world versus world achievements that they will be the main thing I'm looking at. Basically, every second I spend in World vs. World is really valuable time for Guild Wars 2 Master for my account, just because I got so little stuff from there. But it's also an enormous amount of time, like a ludicrous amount of time. So, you know, I just have to hope that the devs make the gameplay interesting and they make the content good, and then I'll get addicted to it. I'm at a point, right, where... I have pretty much every reward possible from PvP, except a couple of the llamas, but they're time-gated, right? So, I'm at a point where if I could substitute my enjoyment of PvP for World vs. World instead, I should do that because World vs. World is now the really long-term thing where I'd get a load and load of rewards from and a load of stuff. It's now World vs. World that I should go to, but uh, I just cannot enjoy it, even remotely. I just can't get into it. So, this this event feels so directionless, by the way. Obviously, he's looking for his mate, so it's going to feel a bit like that. But. Benji says, I've only just got enough skirmish tickets for six armor sets, three upgrades, and a back piece, and I get diamond every week. Yeah, that's the thing. I need, I, I need to be in the habit of getting diamond a week, right? That's the main thing. Maybe I should start on that, actually, very soon. I couldn't get diamond in the course of a single stream. How many hours is it for diamond? Because it literally is just a matter of hours, as long as you have participation, right? Proud owner of 12 expiration gifts, zero legendaries. That's crazy. Zergin is boring, roaming is boring. Capturing and defending locations feels irrelevant and thus boring. The builds are stupid and broken. I have no sense of community. Like, in on what dimension is World vs. World an interesting game type? Given all of those facts I just gave about my experience of it. Roaming is boring. Roaming's fun for a while, and then you realise, oh, why do I care about like 1v1ing these people and winning these 1v2s and stuff when ultimately pretty much all of them are bad at the game and relying on broken builds 
and the rest of them are just stealth disengaging and the rest of them are getting saved by Zergs. What's the point?